G'day viewers, welcome to Wimble Train's World of N-Scale T-Track. Now on your screen you can see a Triton um, table saw, which is folded up, that's how I keep it. And as you can gather in this video we're going to talk a little bit about how to cut the MDF for your T-Track modules. Now on a previous video I did have a comment from Scale Down TV asking how I cut my pieces and how I get them straight. Now I normally use my table saw there but um, after going on the internet and I've thought about this for a while as well I built this other little device so we'll go and have a look at what all that's about. So basically what I've made here is um, a cutting jig that can use an existing circular saw that you might have, a power saw. Now this runs on two rails there, as you can see. I just happen to have some of these aluminium pieces lying around, but you can buy some uh, angled aluminium pieces. Like this, there's heaps and heaps of videos on different variations of this and how to build it and all that sort of thing. Now you notice there at the end I've put an extra bit of hardwood and to get a nice right angle on the end, right angle to the blade so I get a nice straight cut when I put my piece in. Now that's my little Ryobi saw and it doesn't have much clearance underneath because the blade's so small so the rails had to be um, very shallow that, that it runs on. So we basically put that on on the rails there and it just slides along like that and we put the uh, blade in there we just adjust the blade so it just makes a little groove in the timber underneath and then that'll act as a guide so that will just then slide up and down there and we'll make our cut now one important thing is to the wood you're going to cut is you clamp it down so it doesn't move that's very important because if it moves just a fraction your, your piece will be out so that's the design if you look up like I said if you look up videos on the internet on other variations and how people have done it you'll see how it all goes together so here we have the setup, um, that's my carpenter square. So after I've run the saw down the rails and made the groove in the timber, and I've got a little piece of aluminium that I had lying around that just happens to slot nicely in that saw, saw blade slot. And then I put my carpenter square up against it and then I screwed down that timber there so it was a nice right angle to how the saw is cutting so that will give us a perfect um, straight cut. So here we are all clamped up notice I've used a couple little pieces of MDF and clamps to clamp it down and we've put the MDF make sure you put it on the right side of the um, where the blades are going to cut here the blades going to cut on the right so to the left is our piece that we measure our 64 millimeter for the sides and front and backs for the T-Track module. So then, then we'll go ahead and make sure it's all clamped down tightly. You don't want it to move at all. So then we'll put our saw in and do the test cut. So we've done our test cut. Now notice the clamps on the side. I've just used little bits of MDF and clamps to clamp our piece down. When we take it out. We're going to have a bit of a measure, and we've cut this to the 64 millimeter width for the sides and fronts of our T-Track module, and it's all good. It's perfect. 
so there we've got the finished piece nice straight cut nice clean job and the other thing too with your circular saw if you can get a uh, higher number of teeth on your blade will give you a finer cut a nice cleaner f finish so that's it that's the jig I've made to cut up MDF for the T-Track modules an alternate way of doing it apart from my um, table saw there are a few other methods and as I said if you search on the internet there's there's lots and lots of different variations of, of this jig that I made here so go and have a look at those and that's about it for this one we'll catch you soon this is Wimble Train saying bye and take care